Okay, hello everybody. My name is Alex Fernandez. Uh, I'm here today uh, as the product manager of the education division here at Back USA in order to show you uh, a new feature that's actually built into the Windows ecosystem. Uh, utilizing our Atlas 2017 standard device here, and you can see an eye tracker, which is actually a Toby eye tracker 4C, physically connected via USB to our device. What I'm going to do here is just quickly walk you through how to enable this feature on your Windows desktop. So uh, in this case, I'm going to open up the settings feature and go to ease of access, which are the accessibility features that are typically uh, available on the Windows ecosystem. If you scroll all the way down, there is an eye control beta. So once I open the eye control beta, if you have an appropriate eye sensor installed and the driver is correctly installed, you will have the option to toggle this on or off. Uh, so you'll see here, once I toggle this on, you're gonna have a control menu and a control bar that appears up at the top of the screen. So what I'm gonna do here is just a couple uh, different scenarios of how this can actually be applied and used. Uh, so again, I'm gonna be taking and placing my hands here on the desk and controlling and manipulating the computer completely with my pupils and the eye sensor that's available. So I'll start by moving the control bar down to the bottom and then I'm going to go ahead and use this mouse clicker to go ahead and hover above notepad. Using the double click feature, I'll be able to open that up. And at this point, I wanna enter some text. So I'm gonna select the keyboard down at the bottom and I'm gonna start typing with my eyes. And as you can see, the text is appearing up in front of us without any problem. So now that I'm done with the keyboard, I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to the X to close that down, bringing the menu bar back up. I'm going to use the mouse feature again to go up and select. Close this window. And then selecting don't save to permanently close the window. At this point, what I want to do is I want to use this as a communicator. So I'm going to open up the communicator and I'm actually going to begin uh, typing again using a similar keyboard to what we were just looking at. And I'm going to begin typing with my eyes again. Now, talking with my eyes. As you can see, I can easily play this voice out. So allowing the text to speech functionality turns this into a communication tool for individuals with limited mobility, a really great and powerful feature that typically in the past required thousands of thousands of dollars of hardware uh, as well as software in order to enable these cap these features. Uh, now that this is a, a built-in part of the Windows operating system, we're fortunate enough to be able to light this up right out of the box with the Atlas and the Toby eye tracker, uh, the eye tracker being under $200 price point right now. Yeah.